Hello guys. At my home office, I have a lot of different devices. First of all, I have my MacBook Pro with M2 chip. I have my ultra wide monitor. I have another one monitor, mouse, keyboard, webcam, my monitor light, my shelf speakers, my headphones, you know, my iPad, hard drive, flash drives, M2 drive, which required pretty fast speed and all of that, my mic. And all of that I need to connect through something to my MacBook because MacBook has only a couple of USB-C or Thunderbolt ports. So I need to connect all of this to my MacBook and also to deliver somehow the power to the MacBook. So that's why I decided to use this Woblink, this Thunderbolt 4 quad display docking station. So today I'm gonna to connect all these devices through this dock station to my MacBook. Stay tuned. Okay, let's start with unpacking and let's check what we have a set inside this box. This device is pretty nice packed, so it could be a very good gift if you are looking for something pretty technical, if you have friends who are home office maniacs. So inside the box we can see immediately the device itself, it's aluminum case from the front side, I think this is a front side, right? Now we have on off and we have this Thunderbolt port and we, we will use USB-C, USB Type-C cable to connect my MacBook through this port to this dock station. Also we have audio input, we have SD cards, reader and we have USB-A port. On the side by the way you have a lock function. On the back side we have a lot of different USB-C cables, power for the dock station itself, several different USB a ports, uh, Ethernet connection, also we will test today the speed of this Ethernet connection and several video streams, a display port and HDMI port. Also we have a quick start guide which will help us to connect quickly all my devices to this dock station. So from the cable's point of view we have this USB-C Thunderbolt 4 cable, power cable, second part of the power cable. And this one is to secure your USB-C or Thunderbolt cable to the dock station. I will show you how to do it later. Okay, first of all, we need to connect power supply to dock station, right? Let's start with the obvious. Let's connect this dock station using this Thunderbolt 4 USB-C to USB-C cable to my MacBook. So this is first. And if you need to secure your USB-C cable, you can use this small attachment and just attach this to the front part. Second, let's connect my MacBook to my monitor through this, through this dock station, right? I, I'm using my monitor through this also Thunderbolt connection, so I will attach this cable from my LG monitor to this Thunderbolt dock station. Let's switch on and let's test it. First of all, we can see that my Mac is up and running and you see that my monitor successfully connected to my MacBook. I'm using heavily my M2 uh, super fast memory external drive through also Thunderbolt 3. So let me connect this drive through dock station to my MacBook and check if it's available. And I can see my M2 available on my MacBook. So let's connect this as well, this 2TB, to this dock station and let's see how it works. Also, I have my super fast Google Ethernet, like, Ethernet cable. So let's connect this and also we will test the speed in a couple of minutes. Obviously, I'm using from time to time some flash drives, so let's attach one flash drive to the dock station so we will see how to use it. I have my headsets from Corsair. I'm using them for audio, recording and listening and gaming. So obviously they are wireless and I'm using this 2.4 dongle to connect. So let's connect this to the dock station and let's test later. As a blogger, I'm using a lot these flash drives, recording some, shooting some videos, photos and all of that. So obviously I need fast copy paste of like a lot of data from my camera to the laptop. So let's use this flash drive to test the speed. So my second monitor, I'm using this portable monitor from MNN and also I need to connect this to my MacBook. So I will be using 
one more USB-C to USB-C, which is the same as Thunderbolt, to connect this to my Mac. And here we go. I have my third monitor. I'm using my external mic to record some audio. From the front side, we're using card reader, 2.4 wireless dongle for my head headsets. This is to connect my MacBook. From back side, I'm using some flash drive, Ethernet network, mic, one external monitor, another external monitor, my super fast M2 memory, external memory drive, and power supply. Obviously, I will hide all these cables under the desk shelf or behind the desk in general, so it will not be shown. But right now, just for the demonstration purposes for you, I leave it on top so you will see how I connect all these devices together. Now, let's switch for the performance testing. So first of all, let's double check that our monitors works as should be, right? So internal monitor or MacBook monitor, it's a promotion obviously and uh, this resolution my mini monitor on 60 uh, hertz which is perfect and full hd again as it should be my lg ultra wide uh, 4k with 75 hertz which is like amazing all good uh, so all monitors works perfectly through this thunderbolt system this is first test Okay, let's do the quick Ethernet speed test. And you may see that the speed is maximum from what I can have in my plan from my provider. Our second test will be related to my uh, external fast speed M2 memory external drive so I'm using black magic design uh, speed test tool um, which is coming together with Mac so as you may see it's up to 2000 megabyte per second which is amazing speed let's compare with internal Mac drive so obviously internal Mac drive is twice faster but that's why it's cost so much so for my external drive it's not bad result let's compare with my seagate it should be much slower yeah it's around 123 megabyte per second so it's around 100 megabytes in comparison to my m2 it's like Hello, super wow. slow but i'm using this hard drive for long time storage of some archives so it's fine Okay, let's do the, some real test. Let's copy uh, from this uh, SD card some 11 gigabyte file to my internal Mac drive. So you can see the speed on your screens. It's less than a minute. So let's copy this file from uh, internal Mac drive to external M2 drive. Just a couple of seconds. Do you ever think of also, you can see that I have access to my Corsair Virtuoso headsets. So this headsets connected through this 2.4 dongle and it's up and running. And also I have this my microphone from Fifine. And also I have connect, I have access to, to it. And I have connect access to my external monitor, uh, another external monitor so everything available available for me but some things stay no matter where